Fallen Earth is an MMORPG developed and published by the studio of the same name, Fallen Earth. This once shut down MMO has recently been brought back to life with the help of a new publisher, Gamers First. My name is Shikari Dill, and in this video, I'm going to go back in time to play this old MMO and find out if it is worth your time in 2021. I played this game very briefly many years ago and really have no memory of it, so I thought it would be a good time to check it out and see what it's about. Stay tuned for the end of the video where I'll break down the pros and cons of this game and give my final thoughts. So right off the bat, you'll see the graphics, well, they're a bit dated, but that's to be expected from an older MMO like this. They're not the worst graphics I've ever seen, and surprisingly, the character customization isn't that bad either for an older game as well. I mean, I've certainly seen worse and less effort put into customization. I'm looking at you, New World. It's not the worst customization I've seen in a game, uh, but it's... Not the best, either. What? How did you get here? That fog is off! Get wrecked. Hello, can you hear me? Come to the computer terminal. So it seems like there's a, there's like a, high, you can either go like action cam, action style, or you can do like typical tab targeting or, you know, hovering, using your mouse. Here goes nothing. For the general! Ugh. Ugh. Get him. Look at that action combat. See if you can find a key on one of the guards. Honestly, I can't even tell the difference between this and New World's combat. Just flawless. There's a there's push to talk? Does this game have voice chat? No way. Camera mode, F9. <gasps> There's first person mode. Are you kidding me right now? I'm playing, I'm playing MMO Fallout. Holy crap. This is nuts. The tutorial is pretty cool. It's your standard MMO tutorial, kind of showing you the ropes of how to play the game. There's a little bit of, you know, story elements in there, and I just kind of appreciate it setting up the setting and kind of the the journey going forth. Hello? Am I coming in? Clone, can you hear me? So there's actual, Winters. an actual story. That's good. Your good. stunt with the ATV saved the dam. It's thanks to you I'm alive to have this conversation. Even so. So the game starts out like any other MMO. You get your normal fetch quests, your go gather some of that, go kill some of these easy enemies. Nothing too crazy. He's a dance bl blade dancer cutter. Looks like he didn't cut hard enough. Fool. They call me Two Shank Shikari for a reason. So AP. So oh okay. So it looks like I can um, put points into stats here. What if I go dual pistol, huh? I guess I'll put some points into uh, health, I guess, so I don't die as quickly. Let's go. So I guess this is the crafting, all the different crafting skills you can do. Um, Armor craft, ballistics, cooking, geology, medicine, nature, science, technology. That's cool. Technology and machines. Weaponry. So, looks like there's quite a bit you can craft. Uh, seems like there's kind of a deep crafting system. I mean, 
something that you can probably get into late game. Look at hey, what's up? I got a horse. Alright, so I like that they give you a mount pretty early on. That's quite nice. Very nice. Now, question is, where is... Okay, never mind. I'm assuming the quest is at the Red X here. You better have money. Can of gasoline tells me there's definitely vehicles and I can go Mad Max style in this game. Yes, please. That is what I want to do. I just want to go full Mad Max in this game. Just crazy vehicles and everything. So a lot of uh, a lot of quests in this game so far are all crafting quests. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Which makes me think crafting is a huge part of this game, which I can appreciate. Which, it's cool. I like it. Alright, I'm off to find some ragged cotton, I suppose. There it is. Okay. So I got one more. So I should have enough to create one more. There we go. And now I wait a minute 30 for my t-shirt to be done. And I guess until then, I will just grind. Hey, and I'm level 3. Look at that. You are now at power level 3. Not very many uh, fancy animations when you level up or anything. It just kind of gives you text. So there's different factions too. There's NPC factions. There's um, there's the Choda, the Travelers, it seems like. There's the... Uh, uh, if I can't... The Light Bearers, the Vistas the enforcers and the techs so quite a few um quite a few factions really to choose from that's cool right. the one thing i'll give this game a lot of credit for is what you can put your points into your advancement points into and you get a lot of these ap from quests and leveling up and there, look at there's just so many different skills, um, trade skills, stats. Like I mean, the amount of character customization in terms of how you want to build your character is pretty crazy here. Um, and I think that's great. I think being able to give the players the agency to build out their character the way they want to play it is something that I think is lacking in current MMORPGs. And so I think it's great here. I see other players running around here on their horse. Kind of cool. It's not totally dead. Like, it's actually pretty, I would say, fairly popular for an old MMO right now. Oh, okay. Look at that. My shirt is done. Boom. Alright, now we can turn this quest in. Not too bad. I wish your horse would follow you around or something. Maybe you could call it towards you. Because if you, if you look, getting on it is kind of a, a little bit of a long animation. It's kind of annoying to hop off and on it again. Not a crazy complaint. Maybe I can pick things up while I'm on my horse. Nope, no I cannot. What's really cool, what's really crazy to me, is actually the graphics aren't too, you know, they're not great. They're a little bit obviously really dated actually, but... I mean, I still feel immersed in the game because of the whole vibe of scavenging for materials and crafting, and I can see people who just want to be immersed in a post-apocalyptic MMO really enjoying this game. Um, of course, I haven't done anything too crazy. I've just been running around on my horse gathering materials and crafting stuff and shooting people with my dual makeshift pistols, but it's not bad. It's not bad. What's this? I got invited to join a clan. A pre-fall major international megacorp. Our product products include weaponry, like many major companies. We boosted sales by buying up smaller companies and selling cheap knockoffs of popular products. That's so funny. I did a little bit of fiddling with the settings, and 
Wow, this game actually looks way better now that I've uh, now that I've uh, kind of fiddled with the settings a bit. There's actually God rays now a little bit if you see. Um, so now the game should look a little bit better. Um, so that's cool. Wow, this game looks so much better after messing with those settings. Wow. There we go. Now I can make some crossbow bolts. It's going to take two minutes. So what am I going to do in those two minutes? I'm going to go shoot some stuff. Bam, 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 bam. Alright. We're gonna do this quest. It's not. There we go. So that's nice. I don't have to run all the way back to turn it in. It just pops up. There it is. I think I'm gonna call it here for this gameplay impression. Um, I get the general gist of the game. And... Honestly, I could see myself coming back here to, to kill some time. Um, maybe come back with some friends. We'll see. So after spending five to six hours in game, my thoughts on the game are as followed. I love the setting of this game. I'm a huge fan of post-apocalyptic settings and I think this game does a great job setting it up and making you feel immersed in it. This game seems to have a pretty deep crafting system and in fact is a huge part of the game. So if you're into profession type stuff and really like crafting, this could be a great game to check out. The game seems to have a pretty healthy and decent sized population. I was invited to a clan with people who are really helpful and willing to help me out. PvP seems like a pretty cool core pillar of this game that unfortunately I didn't get to try since I was still too low level. There were no crazy cash shops or pay to win mechanics, which was really refreshing to see. And lastly, this game is free to play, so there's really nothing to lose by downloading it and checking it out yourself. Here are my cons for the game. Some of these might not affect you, as they are personal preference, but here they are. I personally found the UI to be a bit of a mess and kind of confusing. It took a while before I got used to where everything was, but it was kind of annoying at first. The graphics are pretty outdated and kind of ugly. Even after fitting with the settings a little bit, I got it to look a little bit nicer, but this is just a preferential choice. Again, this might not affect you. The combat feels really outdated and pretty clunky. There is quite a bit of a steep learning curve. And lastly, the quests themselves were typical theme park MMO type fetch quests. However, I'm sure this improves and gets better as you get higher level. Overall, my final thoughts on this game are pretty positive. I think this would be a fun game to group up with buddies to form a clan and just get immersed in a post-apocalyptic MMO. Besides, it's free to play, so you really have nothing to lose for checking it out yourself. Thanks so much for checking out my video. I hope to bring more MMO content like this in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.